Hey guys, welcome to MET Academy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a weather graphic. So to make the weather graphic, you have to go into After Effects and open the Listen Update graphics. Then you want to go to weather.com and look up the 10-day forecast. When you get there, you also want to make sure that it's the 10-day forecast for Middleborough. That always helps. One time I did Washington, D.C., but we caught it before the show, so you definitely don't want to do the weather for Washington, D.C., because no one here cares about Washington, D.C. right now. So when you get to the weather, you want to make sure that it's also the right days that you're using. So in this case, it's always going to be Friday through Thursday, and it's going to be Friday, May 25th through Thursday, May 31st. So once you check to make sure that you have the right dates in the 10-day forecast, you want to also want to make sure that you change the dates in After Effects. Right now it says it's February 16th through 28th in 1988, and I really don't think it's 1988 anymore. So you want to make sure that you change the year so it doesn't look weird up on this, the TV. People will definitely catch it, and you just don't want to look stupid. So once you change the date, you need to go back to the selection tool. Every time you change a form of text, you need to go back to that selection tool. It's very important. So now you need to start changing the weather for each day. So starting off with Friday, it's going to be 85. So with that selection tool, you select the text, you highlight it, you change it, and then you go back to the selection tool before you change any other text. So it has the high of 85, which you write on the top line, and the low of 62, which you'll write on the bottom line. So you have to go back into After Effects with the Selection Tool, click on the text, highlight it, and change it. And then back to the Selection Tool, click on the text, highlight it, make sure you have the right temperatures, and change it. You pretty much do this over and over until you fill out the week. So once you get done bouncing back and forth between the weather and writing them in, you want to check and make sure that you have everything correct. Just run through it again. It's always best to double check and do things right the first time. And after that, you're going to be changing the actual pictures in the days. So to do that, we go down to the bottom left corner where we have all of our layers. And we start off with Friday being partly cloudy. Partly cloudy, mostly sunny tend to be the same thing. We only have the partly cloudy graphics, so we want to make sure we change that. So over to the left side, there are eyeballs on the side. The eyeballs are what you can see. So you have to change it to being cloudy, otherwise it'll say sunny. It's definitely not going to snow on Sunday, so you need to make sure you change it and it looks correct. You also can't have multiple layers selected or you'll be able to see them behind the layer as you can see. So make sure you just have the one layer selected correctly for each day. As you can see, each day is labeled. So it'll be Monday, sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy. So it's easy to fix. So you just run through, make sure everything's correct. And again, once you're done, you just double check it look it all over, make sure it's correct, and then you can go in and export it. So when it comes time to export, you want to go over to File, Export, and choose Render Queue. So this will come up and you want to scroll down to the bottom. And down at the bottom, you will find best settings, lossless, and a place to name it. So if you go into best settings, you'll find that everything there should stay the same. So all those settings are okay. So you just go through, make sure it's okay, press okay. Then you want to make sure that you rename it and put it in the right place. So you want to make sure that it's called seven day master for the week that you have, so it's May 25th through 31st, 2018. Have it labeled, maybe put the episode name in there. You don't have to, as long as you have the date. Um, it should be fine. I put episode 11 just so you know. 
and it doesn't get confused and you go in and you put it into the shows folder and sometimes you have to make a folder for the graphics just so you know where they all are and that it's all organized so you go in a new folder and you name it listen update episode I think it's 11 and then they're the weather graphics and then you can save that there and then you go into lossless and you want to change it from a QuickTime to a JPEG sequence. Once you change it to a JPEG, everything else stays the same. RGB, millions of colors. Just keep it all the same and press OK. When that's all said and done, check it over one more time. Make sure it has a name and then go to render. Make sure you press render or it will not save. Once you've done that, you want to go and make sure that it's there. So just go double check. Go back to the file. Should be there. Pr click it once and press spacebar, and it'll open. You make sure it's the right date, the right temperatures, the right graphics. Once you do that, you're just about done. So when you're done with that, the last thing you want to do is export it to the Kingston Drive. So you open it up. You make sure you have the right folder. Once again, it should be listen update sometimes you need to make a new folder so I make the new folder make a folder for the graphics and drag it in Once you've loaded it onto the Kingston, you just want to double check one more time. So click it and hit the space bar. Make sure that it's the right graphic. Check everything one last time. Export the drive and you're pretty much good to go. This has been How to Make a Weather Graphic. Thanks for watching.